is long preserved for our walk in this world. They resound with God's own art. Oh, let the ancient words impart words of life, words of hope. Give us strength, help us go in this world where we roam. Ancient words will guide us home. Ancient words ever true, changing me and changing we have come with open hearts. Oh, let the ancient words impart. Holy words of our faith handed down to this age came to us through sadness. Hi, how are you guys doing? Eleanor said, welcome to the verse of the day. We hope that you guys are doing well. Um, I'm Brandon Hathaway, the preacher at the Westside Church of Christ in Owensboro, Kentucky. And I want to thank you for joining me uh, again as we once opened uh, the Word of God. Um, of course, uh, thank you for joining if it's your first time. Um, we are uh, just looking at a verse or two uh, every day as we... Um, I do it in the mornings as we get started and getting going and trying to start off with uh, studying the Word of God and ready to uh, serve Him as we live throughout our day. Um, we're trying to read through the New Testament within the year, and so uh, Monday through Friday we've got a little bit of a reading plan, and then Saturday and Sundays uh, get to choose what different spots to choose from. So, But today we are in 1 Corinthians chapter 2. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and in verse 14. If you want to open up your Bible, again, I encourage that you read the rest of the chapter and not just this one verse that I'm going to be talking about, but make sure you take the time and read the whole chapter. So 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and in verse 14. Here it says, By the natural, but the natural man does not receive the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness to him. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's start over. It says, but the natural man does not receive the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness to him, nor can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. And so I uh, chose this verse as uh, we talked about yesterday. As you read through 1 Corinthians chapter 1, he talks about unity um, coming together, being united, um, and then as we get to chapter 2, he focuses on that when he was with them, he did not use uh, wisdom of men to try to persuade them. He did not use the wisdom of men to try and to make them see his way, but used the wisdom of God and, and the spiritual Holy Spirit guiding him in the right directions there. And so with that in what he was trying to do, with that being his way of teaching them, we can see here he gets to this point that those who are not spiritually minded did not receive it. He said they, they did not receive the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness. The, the things that we receive from God 
You know, again, we, yesterday we, we brought out the verse that tells us that the foolishness of God is still wiser than men, and the, the weakness of God is still stronger than men. And so, when it comes to those who are not spiritually minded, those who are not ready to receive the Word of God, when you open up the Bible and you read it and you study it and you talk about forgiving and you talk about mercy and you talk about loving one another and up to seven times seven and we, um, you know, you read about baptism, being baptized so that you can be saved and have a home in heaven to have your sins washed away. Uh, you read about marriage is a commitment for lifetime. You read about uh, things that which are sin and not to be drunks and to to men who are not spiritually minded all of that sounds foolish it does because they can sit there and ask why what does it harm if I do this why why would this wash your sins away why would the, and so their minds are not focused on following the Word of God and not focus on spiritual aspect that, that we can study through the Word of God. And so we need to make sure that we're ready to receive the Word of God, that we're ready to receive what He has given to us and what He has blessed us with. And so let us always have that mindset as we open up our Bibles and we read it and we study it, that we are looking at what God has to say and we're ready to apply those things to our hearts and to our conscience and to our ways of life. And so I hope that you have a good day. And I want to thank you for joining me today as we look to the Lord. Um, I'm not going to go to my uh, thank you cam. I have messed it up somehow. It's about to transition over to it. So I'll finish with this uh, picture here. So... Um, been playing around with the stuff and I've got it messed up right now. But I thank you for joining me today and I hope that you have a, a good rest of the day and I will talk to you tomorrow. Until then, bye. Bye.